Well, is this not just the most awesome view? Mum sitting up, the two boys in the front, in perfect morning sunlight, trying to figure out what their plans are for the day. I can't believe one of Steph's friends put Tamburti sap into one of his tooth cavities to fix an issue there. That's quite something. And happy to hear it worked. I don't know if I would be so brave. Now, like I said a little bit earlier, James is further south of us in the reserve, and he will be, in theory, in and amongst more of the migrating herds than we are here. But even beyond these cheetah in the background, there are quite a large amount of wildebeest still about midway up the reserve from north to south. Look at all those little black dots there. Those are all wildebeest. So I'd say there's at least about a thousand there. Beautiful. So the migration is not over yet. We just need to follow it for as long as we possibly can until they all depart. Well, not all of them. Some of them will remain behind. So that's one thing that we can bear in mind for the coming months. A large amount of wildebeest will no longer be roaming these plains. But something else that we can bear in mind is the fact that these two brothers are going to leave mom and start a life of their own it could be any time within the next few months and when they do if we are lucky enough to be able to follow them we are going to be spoiled with a whole bunch of action and the reason being is that they are still going to be inexperienced hunters they've been relying on their mother a lot i presume i haven't seen too much of them so i don't know the ins and outs but one would assume that they are not experienced due to their age and that means we are going to get to see them chase and fail multiple times, more so than an experienced adult cheetah. Not only that, not only the inexperienced, but they also have youthful energy because they are young, I guess. So I'm looking forward to following them as much as we possibly can because I think they are going to deliver us some incredible, incredible sights. I didn't get your name, but somebody would like to know when exactly will these two guys leave. And I think it's OD Farming, and it's hard to tell. I mean, there's two sisters that are younger than these two brothers that have already left their mother. So the fact that two sisters left before two males that will be slightly bigger than the females is quite interesting. But it is imminent. They are certainly coming of age and anywhere from around 14 months to two years of age cheetah will head off I guess no different from the leopard down in the Sabi sands it varies from time to time and each litter and each individual animal is slightly different from the next just like us as humans you may ask the question well when would a adolescent teenager leave their home in New York and it all depends on the individual and the family who you're looking at. Some people hang on to their parents for a lot longer than others, and some may leave a lot earlier for whatever circumstances or reasons there may be. So no different in the wild, and we're in luck. It looks like they have decided to make their next move. I'm hoping it's towards a massive herd of Thompson's gazelle, which is behind us. So if she heads towards us, which she looks to be doing, it means... The prospects are good to see them doing some hunting. So, we need to get into position. My plan is to try and get us onto the other side of the Thompson's Gazelle. We're just trying to keep in front of the cheetah so that we make sure we get you guys in pole position for any action that may unfold. Having said that, though, I can't see where all the Thompson's gazelle have gone. Maybe they're just over this little ridge. There was a whole bunch, I'd say about 100 or so, just off to the right. And the cheetah appear to be heading in that general direction. I 
I spoke about this tree that you can see over there. We've seen the Musketeer Coalition scent mark on that tree. One of them actually climbed up it as well. That was a few weeks ago. I'm not sure when last they were here, but I'm guessing that Malaika may head towards it to get a bit of an update on which cheetah have been moving through this area. So it appears like the Thompson's gazelles may have moved off a little bit. All I can see there is a giraffe silhouetted. The giraffe's looking quite intently towards the cheetah. It's spotted them already. Very, very good. So I'm thinking what we should do is maybe wait over here to see what the cheetah do. Like I said, I'd be surprised if they don't come to the street. It's kind of like the equivalent of an internet cafe for them. They'll come here and read into the signs of what other cheetah have been doing, who's in the area. Another thing that I'm really excited to share with you guys is an interaction between two different groups of cheats. It's something we've yet to share with you since we've been in the Mara. Imagine if the Musketeer Coalition came across these three. We'd have eight cheetah in one sighting. And I fear that the coalition would possibly bully these two young males. Hard to be certain, though. And maybe we'll be lucky enough for that to happen this morning. Hello to Shamson. You would like to know if cheetah will evolve to hunt in groups to achieve higher success. And I guess you might mean female cheetah because male cheetah already do that. Um, Look, I guess anything's possible, but we're talking a long time, and I'm guessing if it hasn't happened by now, it may not happen in our lifetime or our children's. So I'm guessing the answer to that would be no, but I would not consider myself an expert in forecasting evolution of animals. <laughs> um, like I said, my guess is that if it hasn't happened now, by now, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. I guess we may have already destroyed the planet before the cheetah gets such a chance to do that in the next million years or however long it's going to take. Unless, of course, we all start behaving a little bit better. But at the moment, I think, <laughs> in terms of a long-term evolutionary plan for these cheetah, I don't foresee any changes. You guys really aren't a morning bunch, are you? But at least we've seen them on the move a little bit. And what I have learned with these cheetah is that they often do hunt quite a lot during the day, or at least this specific female and her boys. A lot of the time when we've left them during the day, we come back in the afternoon to see them full-bellied. Now, we're going to be sending you off to Steph, who's trying to track down another spotted cat's.